Hello, I'm Robert Stomachuk and welcome back to Bottle Talk, where wines get reviewed, never rated. And today's wine is going to unleash all the inhibitions that camouflage themselves in the dark recesses of your mind and you're going to be grateful that you dipped into this bottle, I'll tell you. Before I do that, don't forget, subscribe on YouTube. I've got a lot of great content coming. Wine Talk is just a fun, disarming knowledge of wine so that you understand it better. Behind the bottle is going to be, uh, sorry, behind the label. Uh, I might have had a couple glasses of this already. Um, behind the label is going to be collaborations with winemakers and uh, winery owners. That is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to use behind the label to turn the tables on some regular guests, which is going to be a lot of fun. So keep watching for that. Stay tuned to the end of this episode. I'm going to give you a short, quick, and important insider tip that you're going to want to know about wine, that's for sure. So today, right to it, Segesio 2015 Old Vine Zinfandel. Now, I was talking all about the honest morality of Zinfandel in a previous episode, so please check that out. Segesio, the family's been doing this for 125 years, and guess what? They're doing it right. Um, what's different about this wine in particular, it's a couple of years older. Uh, it's a 15 vintage and it's also, sorry, I totally trashed the label. They're going to, you know, whatever, I'm sorry. But um, this is an old vine. So I'm going to do a whole episode on wine talk as to what old vines means and again, how that translates to your mouth. And it's going to be important for you to pay, uh, to pay attention and watch along for that one. But in this particular case, the vines average between 50 to 70 years old. Um, pretty spectacular. I can smell this. It's just saying, Robert, drink me, my gosh. So I'm going to get right to this. Um, on the nose, doesn't creep out of the glass. It punches you in the face. So it's just loaded with saturated plum, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, cream, melted chocolate, um, campfire. I don't even know how that's possible. Black licorice, road tar in the good way. Um, oh, wet hay a little bit. It's got a lot going on. We better taste. Mm, mm -mm. Sorry, Mom. I'm not spitting that out. Oh, what a wine. Okay, so... Quite often, again, the nose is linked to the mouth, so everything I was smelling can transform through, but I also get this kind of uh, baked earth quality. The alcohol is definitely present. You you feel that on your chest a little bit when you take a big deep breath. It's sitting at 14.8%, so it's definitely high alcohol. Acidity is balanced out, the oak's in check, but the fruit is just cascading through your soul. For food, I immediately think a barbecue, a grill. Actually, no. I want to cook on an open fire with this thing. And anything that walked the earth or had hooves at one point, that's what I'm going to cook. Stews will work really good. Heartier dishes. Um, yeah, my gosh. Also, pairs incredibly well to four-wheel driving. Um, I honestly think if this was a car, it would be a massive GM 4x4 truck. Um, and yeah, I think if this wine was a person and it had a job, it'd be a lumberjack. It stands six foot eight, 300 pounds with a 5% body fat. And it's pretty amazing. It's got this, there's comfort in this wine at the same time. It drinks like a hug and who doesn't like that, right? Um, I'm not really sure what else I can tell you about this wine. Retails in Vancouver for around the $60, $65 mark in private stores. You should definitely get into it. Your insider tip that I wanted to leave you with today was that quite often you're going to be in a situation either in a wine store or at a restaurant and see on a wine list or some label a term that you're not familiar with. You might see two wines that look very much the same, but one's very expensive and one's very affordable. Why is that? I encourage you to ask. There's so many incredibly talented people working in the markets that you shop in. That's what they're there for. And I know wine can be intimidating, but please let us help you disarm it. And if you get anyone who treats you poorly because you didn't know something about wine, send them to me and I'll take care of them for you. Thanks for watching. That's all I got.